today on Florida Sport Fishing. There's a little spinach. Oh, yeah, he's going now. Yeah. Nice black fin. All right. <laughs> yeah. That is a chunky monkey. Nice. <laughs> I'm tight. I'm tight. What? Whoa, 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 I'm under you, I'm under you. What, is that really, is that yeah. the same fish? No, 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 two, two sail, fish. holy two sail. crap, Hold Woo! Go, 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 ah. double header sail, baby. Ho, oh, oh, ho, what on? CB Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. There's a sailfish, already got a bite. Ridiculous. Another one on, another really? one on. Ugh. Woo! Nice. That's what it's all about right there. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Florida Sport Fishing utilizes and proudly endorses Ghost, the global leader in boat security, monitoring, tracking, and surveillance. VMC. Tired of missed strikes? Fish the hooks the pros fish. Fish VMC. Fortress, the world's best anchor. Stronger, faster, lighter. Motor guide the most dependable trolling motors on the water, and Stingray Tackle. Shop where the pros shop. Shop at StingrayTackle.com. We just got set up on the edge here. We're fishing outside our home port of Hillsborough Inlet. Springtime, nice conditions, a solid 15 knot easterly breeze. Got a little bit of a chop, two to fours. And I'll tell you what, the fishing on the edge here lately has been on fire. We're fishing just a Bunch of flat lines on this side here. We've got Carlos on the downwind side flying a kite. Gene Dyer working with me here on the flat side. And I'll tell you, we couldn't ask for a nicer morning. Really are just optimum conditions. There's been a lot of different fish moving up and down the edge. Combination of sailfish, kingfish, who knows, maybe we may even get lucky, catch a couple of nice dolphin. Blackfin tuna is always a possibility as well. So stick around, let's see if we can get hooked up. You got a nice spread going on. What do you got? You got your spinner I've out I've got part. my spinner rod the furthest forward, out the farthest from the boat. I've got a deep line down about 65, 70 feet. Um, and I have one more line with about a half ounce of lead on it that's not out as far as my spinner. Trying to cover as much water as we can and cover different parts of the water column. Hoping we can find some fish here. I got the same going on in the stern. I got a deep bait around 50 feet. I got another flat line way out, maybe two, 250 feet out away from the boat. I've got another one with a quarter ounce egg, maybe 100 feet away from the boat. So we're fishing six baits on the flat line side here. And that's what's nice about this CV390, dude. We've got all these rod holders. We've got a huge platform to work off of. We could really cover, like you said earlier, a lot of the water column. And that's the idea, you know, sometimes you'll pick off those kingfish down deep, a wahoo possibly, of course the dolphin and the sailfish up on top. Obviously we've got Carlos on the downwind side of the boat flying a kite. He's got some baits right up on top. So we didn't have a lot of time, but the bite's been decent on the edge here the last few days. Decided to come out and spend half a day or so just fishing the edge. We're primarily fishing pilchards, so we've kind of scaled down. We've scaled down our leaders. We're down to 40 and 50 pound tests, little 4-0 hooks. 5-0 hooks versus, again, when you're fishing the larger baits, the goggle eyes, the blue runners, speedos, you know, you may want 60 or 80 pound test and a larger 7-0 to 9-0 hook. So it's all relative, you know, just depending on the bait. A lot of guys wonder what's the best size hook to use. Well, it isn't only about the size of the fish that you anticipate catching, but it's about the bait. You can't anchor that bait down with too large of a hook. These little pilchards and sardines, they're small, they're fragile baits, too big of a hook and they're gonna die. You're just gonna rip them apart. So again, it's the little details that really make a difference. Well, we'll drift along here and we'll see what we can pick off. As that sun comes up, we'll have a little bit of a better chance to see any color changes, you know, weed lines out in the distance, things to that nature. Man in the green suit swimming around. Yep. A couple nice 20 pound gaffers would be nice. That would be very sweet. Yeah, it would. Well, we stick with it. Hopefully we'll get our shot. See what happens here. 
The award-winning Z Performance line from CV raises the bar. It's not just fast. It's not just fuel efficient. The CVZ is the entire package. It offers the perfect balance, safe, predictable handling during hard turns and at high speed. And most importantly, the Z stays on plane at lower speed so it can comfortably handle anything Mother Nature can dish out. Experience the exhilarating ride of the CVZ. Schedule a C trial today. So, you're looking for a place to go on vacation where the water is warm and the nights are hot. A place to remember. A place to get lost. Or blend in with the crowd. A place that defines your individuality. A place to test your skill at something new. A place that feels like home away from home. Visit Jacksonville, Florida. Chaos is tragic. Chaos can be awesome. Yo, another one on, another oh! one on. Three on, baby. <laughs> With Chaos Fishing, it's your rod, your way. Quality components and personalized service from a legendary builder equal the right rod at the right price every time. Shop online for a complete selection of serious fishing equipment. Or visit Chaos's new superstore and receive a free t-shirt with every rod purchase. Chaos Fishing Gear Matters. What if navigating was as simple as touch and go? It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MMT chart water, Navnet TZ Touch. Haven't seen what it is yet. Feels like it might have a little meat to it. Try and work with you here with these lines, dude. Just want to take it nice and easy. Let your equipment do the work for you. He's going now. There's a little spinach. Oh, yeah, he's going now. Hasn't jumped. I mean, it's certainly not a sailfish or even a dolphin. I'm going to guess another big bonita, but no. Well, hey. There's a chance it could be a blackfin. You never know. No, it's true. Could be a king. Got some weight to him. Yeah, he's pulling a little bit. And that's the whole key, you know, when you've got multiple lines out, just work together, you know, try and do everything that you can to, of course, avoid tangles. But what you don't want to do is bring in all of your baits. You want to keep as many baits out as you can, because obviously where there's one fish. A fish have friends. That's right. Shaking his head like a bonita. Yeah. Well, there have been a lot of them around, that's for sure. But mixed in with the bonita is going to be, you know, what we're looking for. And tell you what, though, man. Tell me that's not a fun fish to catch on a spinner. You don't like catching bonita, you don't like fishing. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's a blackfin. Take your time right there, dude. So we've got a nice blackfin on here, maybe 15 pounds or so. It's doing a circle. Yep, doing the, doing the tuna circles. What I tell you, with those bonita, you're going to find these blackfin, you're going to find the sailfish. It's a good thing to catch bonita. If you're not catching bonita, there's no bait around. There's no food around. There you go. Nice fighter. He saw the boat. Yep. He saw the CV said, uh-uh. Another couple feet. <laughs> How much fun is that, dude? I mean, come on, right? <laughs> Got him. There we go. Yeah. Nice blackfin. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Woo. Dude, that is a chunky monkey right there. Look at oh, that. Oh, yeah, man. How awesome is that okay. fish, dude? I love how they have the indentation for oh, their yeah. fins to just slide in there perfect and make them aerodynamic as they go through the water. That thing just flies through the water and it steers with these little finlets. All of these little fins collapse. They've got this incredible eyesight, these huge eyes, and they can see anything, anything. I mean, they're just incredible fish. That's a chunky one. It's probably yeah. in the high teens. Yeah. I'm gonna grab them off the gaff. You got it? Nice size, dude. It's a nice fish right there. Just another one of the great fish here in South Florida. 
that you can catch on the edge. Anywhere from Jupiter all the way down to Key West and even around the Keys, of course. But a prize catch. Not a monster like a yellowfin, but you know, these fish will reach 30 pounds, 35 pounds, pretty much his maximum size. But this is certainly a healthy one. You can see how thick he is. What you want to do with these blackfin in order to keep that meat in really great quality, you've got to bleed that fish. You've got to get all of the blood out of the fish. And there's a number of different ways to do that. Really what I found to be the easiest, just grab your Bubba blade and just open up those gills and just slice that gill right there. And as you can see, while it may be a little grotesque, all that blood is just pumping out of that fish and that's gonna keep that meat in prime shape. Pro's Tip, presented by Pelagic High Performance Offshore Gear, official apparel of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Hey guys, one of the things that's really important to talk about when you're out on the water is boating safety. And one of those factors is lower back pain. It's really protecting yourself against lower back pain. That's so important for guys our age. You know, we're not all spring chickens anymore. So there's a couple of things that you can do. You know, for starters, our crew, we all wear rugged shark sneakers and boots. Not only are they, you know, waterproof and weatherproof and weather resistant, but the soles are really firm but cushioning and that absorbs a lot of the impact, especially when there's a chop or if you're running across you know, a hard sea, it's really important that you have the right footwear. Another thing is a Sea Deck helm pad. We've got a helm pad on our CV here. Again, if it's choppy and you're running and bouncing across the waves, that helm pad is just gonna absorb all of that shock and really protect your back from any injury. Also, I think more important than anything else is your stance, is how you're standing. You know, you can't fight the motion of the ocean. It's gonna win every time. You've gotta just be relaxed, go with the flow. You know, don't try and tense up. If you do, if you've got your back and your muscles tensed up and you're trying to fight the waves and combat every move of the boat, you're gonna end up pulling muscles. You're gonna end up with lower back pain. If not that day, certainly the next day. So just take a couple of precautionary measures to make sure that your experiences on the water are as safe and as successful as possible. Remember when you're picking your baits out of your bait pen and out of your well, you really wanna take your time and pick the healthiest baits that you can. You know, it doesn't make much sense to put on a live bait that's all beat up, has a big bruised red nose. That bait's gonna die, you know, and it's not gonna do very much for you. On the other hand, you know, dig in there, pick a nice healthy bait, something that just has a really, really nice scale pattern, no scales missing, nice perfect coloration, really frisky, nice clear eyes. That's the kind of bait that's gonna catch you a fish. The Mercury Verado, outstanding corrosion protection, proven reliability. Yeah. And it comes with all this. Meet Tom from Customer Support. Whoa, he's a hugger. Huh? Not really into that, Tom, thank you. This is Nick from Field Testing, runs these babies thousands of hours. They're solid. Nick? This is Cheryl and Bobby, our prop engineer. He turns horsepower into performance. Oh, and the rest of the gang's here. It's good to have Mercury behind you. Meet the rest of the team at mercurymarine.com. Tom, the hugger. Introducing Sea Deck, a shock absorbent, non skid material manufactured from UV protected foam, specifically formulated for marine applications. Sea Deck's comfortable and durable surface protects your deck, reduces noise, and improves the look and value of any boat. Available in a range of colors, Sea Deck is fully customizable and easy to apply with a marine grade peel and stick adhesive. Visit SeaDeck.com for a complete line of retail products. Surprisingly affordable, incredibly versatile. Tired of empty coolers? Book an overnight trip aboard the 100-foot Yankee Captains to the world-famous Dry Tortugas and catch trophy snapper, grouper, king mackerel, and more. Fishing these rich waters for 25 years, let Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew put you on a hot bite. Fish around the clock or relax on the spacious upper deck. With full galley and huge fish boxes, the only thing you'll need to bring is your appetite for action. Now sailing from Key West, Florida, year-round. The Bubba Blade makes filleting fish faster, easier, and safer. Check this out. The Bubba Blade is super sharp and has a super grip. You can feel everything with this knife, it's really nice. The Bubba Blade is the only fillet knife you're ever going to need. So check out our website, BubbaBlade.com, and order your Bubba Blade today.
So we're drifting away here, guys. You know, we're, we're probably in 150, 130 feet now. We're getting pushed in pretty, pretty quick, um, almost out of knot. Uh, we've got a couple deep baits on the other side, Gene and Mike are fishing. I've got three baits on this side on the kite. My long bait has got the goggle eye on it, a uh, little bit heavier bait. So, you know, with the steady breeze that we got, it's helping keep that nice angle, keeping the lines kind of organized. And the mid bait, I've got a half ounce egg sinker with a pelchard, and then we've got it tapered down to the short bait, maybe a quarter ounce on that one, also with the pelchard. Uh, gives it just a nice presentation, you know, keeps, keeps all the baits kind of in line. You will have to adjust this, you know, depending on how strong the wind's going, but we're, uh, we're just going to stick it out here maybe for another 10, 15 minutes and then maybe set up and do another drift, see if we can get into some more trouble. Oh, got one on, got one on. Be another tuna. There you go, you're stretched way out there. I'm tight here. Got a fish that uh, just made a nice long run. I'm hoping it's another black fin. I haven't seen a jump yet. Feels like there's some weight here. Right up on the surface. You can see them way out there, right up on top. Don't discount the flat lines. Cover that water column. Get those baits around the whole boat. All right, this is what's gonna happen right here. You're gonna get tight. Dolphin, it's a dolphin, dolphin, dolphin. Nice. Nice dolphin. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish, dude. That's a gaffer. Springtime, these fish will move up and down the beach. You get good conditions like this, nice clean water. This is it right here. It's on. Look at him all lit up. Oh, oh hit him in the head. <laughs> oh no, my head hurts. Oh. Let me run around and jump a little bit. All right. Nice. <laughs> nice, dude. All right. Oh, look at that hook. That's a bull. Yeah, look at that a hook, bull right, hook in that right in the corner. front, right in the front of the mouth there. It was in them good enough. And good enough is all you need. There we go. Look at the colors on him. Just absolutely all lit up. spectacular. All the, all the blue dot. Look at all the blue on him. Wow. Isn't he gorgeous? When you're fishing the edge, get those baits out. Stay on top of the baits. Monitor them. Make sure your presentation is perfect. And that's going to be the result right there. It's time of the year. You don't have to run way offshore to find them. You get that northeast breeze blowing, it blows them up in here closer, and they're swimming around looking for the bait, and he found mine. There you have it, dolphin baby. Rigging Station, presented by Diamond Fishing Products, makers of the finest monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. Hey guys, when you come out live bait fishing the edge, regardless if you're fishing flat lines or if you're kite fishing, fishing balanced equipment is really, really important. We primarily fish seven foot chaos composite rods rated for 15 to 30 pound line. The composite blank is fiberglass and graphite. It's really sensitive, but super strong. Just a great stick from chaos. We've got the spinning rods matched to Daiwa Salty size 6,500 spinning reels loaded with fresh 20 pound diamond high catch. A great all around setup. Our conventional outfit is very, very similar. Same seven foot rod in a conventional configuration matched to a Daiwa Salty size 50. And we've got this reel loaded with 30 pound diamond high catch. We've got more line capacity on the reel, so we're able to fish a little bit of heavier line. Uh, keep in mind, you know, when you're tournament fishing for sailfish, as an example, you can go all the way down to 16 pound test, but that's not what we're doing. We're out here, we're drifting and dreaming, as we like to call it. We're not going to be chasing these fish down, so a little bit of heavier line really comes into play. Both of the outfits are finished off the same small barrel swivel, six to eight feet of diamond presentation, 50 pound test fluorocarbon to a VMC 60 live bait hook. It's that simple. You can add some little weights, anything from who knows, a quarter ounce all the way on up to six ounces. So this way you can fish the different levels of the water column. But the bottom line is you really need to make sure that your gear is in top condition. Make sure that your line is fresh, at least the top two or 300 yards. It's one of the best investments that you can make. Make sure that your knots are perfect. You know, avoid losing fish for silly little mistakes that you could have fixed. So, and I'll tell you, if you put in the time, you're gonna come out here, you're gonna get hooked up. I like to cook dolphin on the grill. I like to marinate in a little Italian dressing. Um, zesty Italian. A little Florida sport fishing seafood. Little, little Florida sport fishing seafood seasoning on top of that. And then I like to throw it on the grill. 
four or five minutes on each side. It's ready to go. I like to have some of my favorite vegetables with it. Make good dolphin fingers too. The Florida Sport Fishing Spice works great for that too. You mix it in with your, with your breading before you throw it in the fryer. Good stuff, baby. Get you some. Are you ready to get hooked up? Florida Sport Fishing is the number one resource for the latest tips, tricks, tactics, and techniques for inshore and offshore. Each issue is jam-packed with useful articles, easy to follow illustrations, and award-winning photography. Only $30 for two years. For immediate home delivery, visit floridasportfishing.com slash TV. Subscribe today and receive a free shirt and Florida Sport Fishing Hoorag. Want more power and increased towing capacity? California Customs goes beyond the hitch. Let us transform your truck into the ultimate tow vehicle. Two and four wheel drive, California Customs does it all. Towing accessories and load control systems, lift and leveling kits, custom wheels and tires, performance upgrades, toolboxes, and bed covers, plus all of your audio, lighting, and security needs. California Customs, let us make your vehicle what you really wanted all along. Underwater Fish Light adds a beautiful glow to your water line while attracting fish for both viewing and sporting pleasure. You will be amazed by the amount of life in the waterways behind your home. And if you don't live on the water, Underwater Fish Light has a portable system that's perfect for night fishing and exploring from your boat. See for yourself what lies just below the surface with Underwater Fish Light. Fish guaranteed. Florida Sport Fishing has been proudly presented by Fishity. The maps to plan, the tools to catch, the option to brag. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer has the right trailer at the right price. Rugged Shark, technical footwear designed for angling and boating enthusiasts. Frigid Rigid, from 35 to 300 quarts, the finest coolers and freezers on the water. Salt Life, ask for them by name and see what you've been missing. A sailfish, dude. What do you got? It looks like a sailfish. There he goes, there he goes. There he goes, yeah. nice, nice sail, <laughs> yeah baby, yeah. Nice! <laughs> Woo! He just rolled, boom, he ate it. I mean, like instantly, as soon as he saw it. That was sick. Whoa, whoa, I saw the, the, you're on, you're on. <laughs> oh, we might have a double. That might be another sale, dude. I'm tight, I'm tight. What? Whoa, 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 I'm under you, I'm under you. What, is that really? Is that yeah. the same fish? No, or? no, no, two sales. Two sales, hold on. Go, 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 ah. double header sale, baby. Look, oh, mine just popped off. Still got yours, Yo, right? Yeah, mine's still going. Had the bait in its mouth the entire time and never had the hook in the bait. Look at that. Wow. The hook is in the bait. Came up on it, crushed it, ran with it. That's why you gotta bridle your baits. You wanna talk about variety? <laughs> Blackfin tuna, gaffer dolphin, and sailfish. And sailfish. I mean, it doesn't get better than it that. It doesn't dude. get better. Maybe than that, a Wahoo dude. to top it off, yeah, yeah. but I mean, you can't be greedy, no, you know? know. So. That's all right. We'll yeah. take this. Yeah. South Florida. You gotta love it, man. When you got access to fishing like this, this time of year when it get, goes off, oh my God. How could you not want to live here? <laughs> Did you see that fish roll up on the bait? Oh, or no? dude, he just came up on that god yeah. and just went, Poof. Yeah. He just grabbed it, but unfortunately, the hook never stuck. Is he all lit up like purple oh, and awesome. crazy colors? Yeah. Awesome. A lot of times these fish will start turning and coming at you. And keep in mind, they're the fastest fish out there. So if you don't keep up with them, you'll end up losing them. You gotta keep constant tension on them. They've been clocked at over 60 miles an hour in right. short bursts. That's like cheetah speed. Dude, that is cheetah speed. <laughs> Another thing too that's really important, guys, with these conventional reels that we're fishing is guiding the line back and forth like this. Oh, he's right here, he's right here, next to the boat. Holy moly. Dude, he's right oh, here. There he is. Yeah, he's right here. He's right up here under the sea anchor. Boy, I'll tell you what, the bite is on. Calm down. He's Relax. still frisky. Oh, yeah. There, look at that. Right corner, corner of the mouth, buddy. That's nice. There we go. Sweet. Still really green. Really frisky. green. Look at that. Pretty fish, man. He's probably, what, a teenager? Oh, yeah, he's yeah. a little guy, dude. Yeah. I mean, you know, relatively speaking. Right. Just got set back up on the edge here. 
We're at around 250, 275. We got a decent dolphin on. In the boat, in the boat, in the boat, in the boat, in the boat. Nice. He's still green, Mike. Yeah, he's still <laughs> green. I love it. I love it. Another nice cow. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, and there's two, another fight. Two. Right deep there. rod, deep rod. Deep nice. rod gets crushed. Holy cow. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Remember, guys, when you're fishing the edge, it's not always, you know, crucial where you are if you're five miles up the beach or down the beach what's more important is the conditions the water color the clarity you want that nice clean water if you're looking for the sailfish and the dolphin and certainly the blackfin tunas you want current you need moving water obviously today we've got plenty of wind i'll tell you what guys we're gonna get these fish in wrap it up get back to the office Hopefully you enjoyed the show, picked up some tips and tricks. Remember, when you're fishing the edge with live bait, balance tackle is an absolute must. Scale it down. If you're fishing smaller baits, smaller hooks, lighter leader, and stay on top of it. Remember, for a ton of great videos and a boatload of awesome articles, check out floridasportfishing.com. And don't forget to like us on Facebook. We'll see you next week. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up.